how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I just got this in the mail from D Rook. What it is is a level. One thing you can call it, or I can call it, is a level converter. It's a DC input, DC output, and the circuitry controls the level out. So you can put, for instance, you could put 12 volts in and adjust it so it gives you 9 volts out. Just coincidentally, that's what I need for my Grundig Satellite 800 radio. So maybe I can take some of my 12-volt power supplies, of which I have a ton, and use those, use this to convert it to 9 volts, and bingo, I finally got an AC adapter for that radio. So let's take a look at this. Again, it comes from D Rook, and this is their website, drooking.com. Dot com, or you can get these off of Amazon. They're, I think they're a little cheaper off of the their website, but uh, probably for the United States it takes a little longer to get. You can get these if you have a Prime account on Amazon. You can get these in two days. Two days. That's how I got it. Um, I was given a credit by D Rook, and it was sent to me in two days. So let's take a look at it. We're going to uh, do some uh, testing of this. I'm just going to show you the product right now. We'll have to set up some test equipment and some test leads and some other things. So it'll take a while to do that. So it has built in, it has two displays, two four-digit displays, for displaying simultaneously the voltage reading and the current reading on the output and the input. Nicely laid out, well constructed, nice PC board, has four switches. These two are for turning it on and off and controlling the mode, whether it's you're going to set the current or you're going to set the voltage. And these two are for setting the current or voltage up and down. So, for instance, like I said, you can put 12 volts in and set it up so that it's putting 9 volts out, which is what I want to do. But I'm going to do some testing before I hook it up to my radio and see if, whoops, if I can kick the camera, see if um, everything's hunky-dory. Now, one thing I did notice is the back side of this board has the pin sticking through and they're... Uh, susceptible to shorting so you don't want to lay this on something that can short these pins out so probably what I'll do is I'll see if I can find a plastic case to put this in and uh, for a more permanent setup I would definitely do that uh, tie down the leads coming and going so they're not pulling on this thing um, they have the two connectors one on each end for the inputs and the outputs, very convenient. Here is the manual that it comes with. It tells you that the input voltage range is 5 to 34 volts DC now. This is DC to DC, not AC to DC. Um, the output range can be 0 to 30 volts. So, hence, 12 volts in and 9 volts out for my situation. Uh, out, output power a maximum is 30 watts. The output current is 0 to 5 amps, but it warns you if you go over 2 amps, you're going to have to put a heat sink or some kind of cooling on these major devices to keep it from overheating. So I will. I, that radio only draws a half of an amp, so no problem there. Um, output voltage setting resolution is 0.1 volts. Output current setting resolution is 10 milliamps. The voltage measure accuracy of this display is 1% uh, plus one digit. Plus or minus 1%. Not sure what that means, plus one digit. Uh, current measurement accuracy is 1% plus two digits. 
I'm not sure exactly what that means. Pretty small little board. I remember a device that did the same function years ago was as big as a lunchbox. I mean, it was huge. Now look at this thing. Nice, concise little package. So uh, we're going to check it out. Like I say, I'm going to have to uh, find a 12 volt power supply for the input and find some loads to put on this so that I can test it before I hook it up to my radio, hook up my oscilloscope and get my multimeter out so I can test, see how the output is acting. So I think, I think this is going to be pretty exciting. Again, this was uh, sent to me by DRook. This is their website, drooking.com. They, they saw a lot of stuff like this. They've sent me a number of things for review. I appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. And uh, you can get these either on their website or on Amazon. The SKU number for this particular one, they've got a lot of these things, is 180051. And when I looked on Amazon, it had a, a U.S after that number. So there you go. This is going to be kind of exciting to check this out and maybe I'll solve my problem of a power supply for my satellite 800 radio. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I'll be doing some more shows after I get the test setup done and show you how this works. Bye-bye.